This is Marquez Brownlee, also known as MKBHD, and he's most known for his YouTube channel where he reviews the latest in tech, and he's accumulated more than 19 million subs. People are trying to cancel Marquez Brownlee because he is so massive that when he leaves a negative review on a product, it essentially kills their public perception. Like Marquez is destroying small businesses. Listen, man, some small businesses deserve to be destroyed. Humane is going to go out of business because everyone thinks that AI pin sucks because of his review. Good! Well, obviously, people losing their jobs and their projects failing is not a good thing. But you know what's an even worse thing? If he lied and made a positive review, everyone buys it and then it sucks. The first step to a good brand is a good product. And unfortunately, if you don't have that, you're not entitled to be in business. Pretty big plans for this thing. So it's starting off as a wallpaper app now. I don't want to overpromise too much, but it's going to be pretty consistently improving over time, which is part of the reason why we're offering a subscription to support it. So go pick it up now. Poke around, find your new favorite wallpaper, your new favorite artist, and let me know what you think. It's kind of fun to be on the other side now, on the development side where now other people are going to review. This is the only time I've seen Marquez Brownlee under fire. So people are freaking out that he came out with an app where you have to pay $12 a month for really nice backgrounds on your iPhone. To be fair, it's free with ads, but some people don't like things like this he said in the past. Don't get me wrong, I have so much respect for this man. The only critique I really have, maybe you should have made it $5 a month, but I really don't care. Things like this really shouldn't matter. You have a choice to pay $12 a month and you don't. Who cares? But yeah, much love to Marquez. YouTuber Marquise Brownlee, or MKBHD, says he's committed to fixing his wallpaper app, but not its $50 price tag. And I gotta admit, I was a little bit out of the loop on this situation. I was curious what MKBHD was doing that justified a $50 price tag. I was shocked to find out it was an app called Panels, which is just a wallpaper app. Here's two examples on TechCrunch of the wallpapers that you can get on iOS as they review the app and consider it underwhelming. So uh, Marquise Brownlee, in case you didn't know, is probably the world's biggest tech YouTuber, or at least the biggest one in the English world, uh, makes a ton of videos reviewing everything from cyber trucks to smartphones to new tech, and he made his own app, and the app is just, just a wallpaper app that has a premium subscription service of $12 a month or 50 per year if you want HD wallpapers. And if you want access to their AI wallpaper library, man, that is so hype, right? I, I genuinely kind of found this bizarre and he's getting bad feedback and people are dumping on him for it, rightly so. Because getting wallpapers for your Android or iOS device has never been easier. It's incredibly easy to get wallpapers. It's incredibly easy to get wallpaper apps. It's incredibly easy to get free ones. It's, <laughs> it's like NFTs. Wallpapers have never been less of a commodity than they are now. And this man wants to charge $50 a year for a, for some AI generated Wallpapers? I would never pay, never in a million years would I pay that. I would just stick with the generic wallpaper and not pay $60, $50 a year if that was the only option. But this is how much money Marquez Brownlee has made from YouTube. So we know YouTube pays around $3 for a thousand views, and MKBHD has nearly 3 billion views. That means he's made a nice $8.9 million. Would you keep going if you only had 74 subscribers after your first 100 videos? The biggest tech YouTuber celebrated his 100 video milestone 15 years ago. Video number 100, Woo. So yeah, welcome to video number 100. Um, I have to say it's pretty good that I've gotten to upload 100 good videos for you guys over the past couple of months, basically. And so what I'm going to go into is that right now I have, I'm going to check right now, right now I have approximately 70-ish subscribers. I'm just looking at, yeah, I have, oh wait, no. If I go to my page, youtube.com slash Marcus Brownlee, just click on the link over there, I have 74 subscribers. But what I want to know is, would you have given up? Most creators give up if they don't see results immediately. If Marcus Brownlee had given up, he wouldn't have reached 18 million subscribers and 4 billion views. Millions of dollars was on my mind at that time. I was dead 
broke. There was no time to relax, go hang out, party.